Hi, this is Lux, and I want to do a quick tutorial on setting up Regroover in Ableton Live, meaning the layers in Regroover associated to separate tracks in Ableton Live. It's really easy to do, and this is how. Okay, I have a drum loop in Regroover. It sounds like this. And I want to make sure that each of these layers are coming out of four separate tracks in Ableton. And the way to do that is to go ahead and put three more tracks in Ableton Live. In Regroover, you can see layer one is set to out one. We'll set layer two to out two, layer three to out three, layer four to out four. They don't have to match the layer number meaning I could have this as out 13 if I'd like, and that's perfectly fine. But for this example, let's just make it easy and go one, two, three, four. All right, on track two in Ableton Live, audio from go to regroover essential underneath resampling. Underneath that, go ahead and choose number two out of regroover essential. You'll see it right here, the input. Now audio from go to regroover essential again. On track three, choose number three input. Audio from, again, regroover, and four. Okay, we're almost there. So go ahead and do monitor in on each of the three tracks. No need to do it on the main uh, or parent track. Let's hit preview. All right, pretty easy. Now, of course, you can begin to drag effects and process these separately. Uh, and also something to uh, remember, you can group these together and have a single uh, track here to put a compressor or what have you on it to say glue these together. So a lot of flexibility. And I'm gonna be doing one on Logic here next. So if that's uh, applicable, I'll see you in a bit.